part to my extraordinary laziness. I don't usually prepare my own meals. I mean, that, that's why Jesus invented takeout. But I'm pretty sure that frying stuff doesn't require electricity, at least not an open beam of electricity. And even if it did, I mean, I think the, there's probably a difference between frying things and electrocuting them. That line is crossed in Don't Fry the Frog. I feel like I should be wearing rubber gloves. Don't Fry the Frog is both a brand new App Store game and a command that, in this particular case, is virtually impossible to obey. Much as you'd like not to, you will fry the frog, and it will be electrocuted to death. Ugh, have you, have you no conscience, so oh Grim Reaper? The debut project of the independent developer Black Torch Games, Don't Fry the Frog is built entirely around multi-touch. With two fingers on the iPhone, you summon a beam of electricity between them, a beam you can manipulate simply by moving your fingers. So move them further apart and the beam grows, pinch them together and the beam shrinks. <laughs> the, the beam shrinks. It was in the pool! So you move this beam and you use it to electrocute flies. See, there's a frog on the screen and apparently it's on a strict diet. He's only allowed to eat so-called healthy flies, which means you have to zap all the bad flies while doing your best not to fry the frog, hence the title. If the frog eats a bad fly, it actually gets fatter, which forces both you and its heart to work harder. <laughs> So it's a really simple concept, but the game throws in plenty of twists to keep things interesting. The healthy flies are essentially the game's power-ups, so if the frog eats one of the blue flies, it temporarily freezes him, and they'll let you kill all the other flies on screen without having to worry about the frog getting in your way. Although, I mean, again, I, I don't cook a lot, and I eat with a blatant disregard for my own health, but since when is a meal that renders you immobile considered the healthy option? Countering the effects of those healthy flies is a selection of flies that are even less healthy than the normal ones. Some of them are on fire, some are infected, and if the frog eats one of those, it's obviously bad news. Don't Fry the Frog is really frantic, and it usually only takes about a minute or so for things to get difficult. In fact, it kind of reminds me of the fly swatting game in Mario Paint, only with really sweet multi-touch controls and more replay value. You can purchase several kinds of helpful upgrades, and you can also chain together combos by keeping your fingers on the screen, which is easier said than done. Now, this is a fantastic iPhone game that really utilizes the strengths of the platform. The multi-touch controls are great, and while it can be difficult to see the screen when you have, you know, two hands moving all over the place, uh, that's actually part of the fun. It's simple, it's addictive, it somehow makes extermination fun. You might call that shocking. It's Don't Fry the Frog for the iPhone. <laughs> 